Hi guys, in this video I'm going to continue with the data that we just imported. Um, I converted the transmission um, feature to a factor, so I used this command. Uh, okay. So basically I'm replacing the current transmission that was a character into a new variable new feature called transmission but just, just that is just coded as a factor okay so we get this data frame okay so basically how you imported it you can still continue following along if you whether you've changed this to a factor or not all right so then I'm looking at the structure of that data frame I renamed it DF. You might have it as DF12 or 3 or whatever it is. Just get comfortable with importing that data. Okay, that was the point of that video. Now I have the data. Before I want to jump in to do some like basic stats and some nice graphs and get an idea of how my data is behaving, <clears throat> I want to kind of uh, use some of this, do some subsetting and learn some basic kind of ways of. Uh, isolating variables, isolating features, isolating examples out of data. So I'm looking at this data. Let's look at the first six observations using the head command. Okay, so it's a nice kind of structured data set. Let's say I only want to look at, um, let's say, cars that have, what should I say, yellow cars, right? I only want to look at uh, yellow cars. All right, so I use the subset command that we learned in a previous video. I want to subset the DF data frame. So I want to look at the whole data frame, but I only want to look at color in yellow. And let me make sure I type yellow exactly how it's written up there, and I put it in quotes. Okay, close parentheses. So I I, I know yellow's here, so I'm just using it. Um, if you want another color, just make sure you spell it exactly how it's spelled and put it in quotes. Now, if I hit enter here, I'm going to get all yellow cars. I'm really hoping I don't have too many yellow cars because I don't want to. Oh, good. It was only three yellow cars. So I get to see the three examples of yellow cars. Row one, obviously, we were looking at row one. Row 136 and row 159 were yellow cars. Cool. Okay. Um, as you can see, if I'm interested in something about yellow cars, now I could focus on these. I could even call this yellow cars. Uh, sorry, can't put spaces. Yellow cars. Assign the name yellow cars to that subset or whatever you want to call it. Try to be descriptive. Um, and then I could just play around with yellow cars and do different things to yellow cars. I could get the mean of the yellow cars, mileage, I could get the, the anything I want, all right? So for now, I just wanted to show you how to subset one way. I could subset in other ways. I could look at, hey, let's only look at cars that suck in the sense that they have way too much mileage, right? So I want to get the whole data frame, and then I want the mileage <coughs> to be only when it's greater than, I don't know, I don't know, uh, 100,000. I would probably have reservations about buying a car with 100,000 mile plus on it. So I want to look at those cars, maybe I want to throw them out, whatever I want to do, okay? So I'm subsetting the data frame, so I use a subset function, subsetting df, which was our data that we imported we named it DF and I'm subsetting based on the variable mileage only when mileage is greater than a hundred thousand okay so let's hit enter hopefully there's not a lot hopefully there's at least one okay good there's about seven or something all right the 90th example in other words the the car the 90th row the car that was in row 90 133 and so on so you see let's see all these mileages are all over a hundred thousand so that's the way I can kind of slice up the data in different ways and focus on different bits of it okay 
um, using the subset command. Let's do some more. I could subset the data frame and look at when transmission is in auto. Wait, let me do it wrong, and then you you figure out what I did wrong. Look, error. Auto is not found. Well, you gotta put auto in quotes, okay? And then all of a sudden you see all the auto. Oh, there's a lot of auto. You see this column on the right here? Auto. I should have probably just looked at the manuals so we could fit it in one page. And, uh, there's 22 manuals. Okay, good. Um, all right, so then I could subset my data. Let's close this. Head EF. So I learned how to subset my data in different ways. I could slice it up, look at different bits and piece of it, pieces of it, set conditions on it. Okay. Another thing I want to do is, how about if I just want to extract a, a, an entire feature out of this data frame? So remember, a data frame is is a bunch of features and a bunch of examples, right? So features are in the columns. So if I just type DF, I'm going to get all the data frame. How about if I just want to look at the t -t -t colors? Right. If I do date the name of the the name of the data frame dollar sign the variable that I want to look at so data frame name dollar sign feature name I can isolate that there that feature from the data frame so here I want to look at data frame df dollar sign feature color. If I hit enter, it's going to show me the entire column of color. Okay? That's 150 colors. I don't know if I want to look at all those. Okay? If I hit enter, you'll see though. It's going to be ugly. We'll clean it up. There you go. Okay? So I'll clean it up with control L. I want to return this snippet so that we always kind of remember what our data looks like. So, but how about if I instead of saying look at the entire data frame color just show me the first six so I could use the head command to do that I could also do um, I could use the square brackets look at the first element yellow the second element would be gray the third element I could look at the first three right I could look at the uh, hundredth which isn't shown here but trust me it's white the hundredth example the hundredth row is a white car okay so I can do different things like that I can also then focus on data frame color and then like do different things like I could get use the table function and it'll tell me how many of each uh, color car there are so there's 35 black 17 blue cars one gold car 16 gray and so on so that's cool but this started with us understanding how to isolate one of the features or variables out of the data frame okay in the in the preceding in videos I'm gonna go into okay now that we can isolate it now we can do we can ask specific questions about it but for now we're kind of we know how to pull one out and look at it alone okay um, let's see what else can we do how about just focus on one row instead now one example I just want to look at the first row okay so let's clean it up again it, I'm cleaning it up so that you could see clearly you don't have to do that every time um, so and by cleaning up I just mean clearing my screen everything's still there all right so data frame I can use the square brackets to index it's a it's a data frame so it has rows and columns in that order okay so I could say if I leave it blank and hit enter here it's the same as if I just wrote DF and I hit enter okay but here it lets me specify hey show me the first row and if I leave this blank all the columns boom look at this first row is coming straight from there 
right? Match. Show me the first row, but only show me the third column, which happens to be what? Price, right? Look at that. So we've done something similar to this before. Here's just with a bigger data set, right? Show me the not only the first car example row, show me the first one, the third one, and the sixth one, okay? And then show me all the columns. No, don't show me all the columns. Only show me the color. So I can say one, two, three, four, five. So five would be the fifth column would be color, right? Be careful, look at this comma. This separating rows from columns. These commas in here are within. So this whole thing right here is the rows that I want, comma, the columns that I want. Okay. If I enter here, I'm going to get the color of the first, third, and sixth car. So guess it. Yellow, silver, silver. Yes. Okay. But if I don't want to like count the column number, I could also put the name of the column in quotes. So color. Instead of putting five, I put color. I get the same information. Quite cool. Okay. I could also say give me the color and give me the what kind of transmission does it have? Is it automatic? Not it, but are these automatic? So look, I get in a nice kind of new table, I get, hey, the first car is yellow, and its transmission is auto. The second car, the car I wanted was the third car. So third car, silver, auto, silver, auto. Let's look up, let's check. First, third, sixth, yellow, silver, silver, auto, 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 perfect matches. Okay, so here's another way. So look how you can extract information that you want from your data. There's different ways to do it. Let me show you one more way. Let's say I want to say, show me everything but the color and the transmission. So all the other features, ah, you can't do that. But you can do this if you use the numbers of the columns. So fifth column was color, I think. Sixth column was transmission. So hit enter. You see, I get everything for the first, third, and sixth example, but only the features besides five and six, which were color and transmission. Okay, so you should play around with this. Basically, the idea isn't to do every possible thing that you can. The idea is to get, be able to get what you want, narrow down, zoom in, slice up the data up to what you want. Sometimes you're going to make an error, and I even make lots of errors from time to time. Okay? And then you figure out, hey, I can't do it this way. What way can I do it with? There's always two or three ways to do it, and eventually you're going to learn a lot by making those mistakes as well. Okay? So to recap, in this video, this followed the video that we imported our first adult data set, our used cars data into R. In this video, we focused on extracting information from it. Nothing fancy, but how, does they, how, how do we use R to pull out certain pieces of information, certain examples, certain features, certain combinations of examples and features? sometimes excluding things, basically subsetting the data. Okay. In the preceding video, now that we know how to do this, we can now explore the data further. We can ask, hey, what's the mean price? What's the standard deviation price? We can draw charts on different features and we're able to kind of explore the data more and more. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Continue to watch these. Some of these are meant to be watched in succession, so pay attention to part one, part two, part three, and so on in the name. All right, till next time, have a great day.